My son has gone missing. Nicholas Sheff, S-H-E-F-F. -F. There's no one by that name, sir. There are moments that I look at him, this kid that I raised, who I thought I knew inside and out, and I wonder who he is. Congratulations for the film. So first of all, like, why, why do you want to tell this story to the audience? Why do you choose such an intense storyline? Because it, um, because it's a beautiful portrayal of a of a family that believes in unconditional love, and yes, they they go through hard times. It's a it's a raw, authentic portrayal of someone struggling with addiction and 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 how the family has to deal with that. But it, but you know, I was very moved when I read the books on which this film is based, and I felt it was important to tell the story. So speaking of love, I have read on Wikipedia that your parents are actually hippies, right? <laughs> hippies and with a sp free spirits. So uh, what can we see in Beautiful Boy? Uh, is there anything shadowing uh, with the relationship between you and your father? Can, can you repeat the last one? Um, where can we see, is there anything like in the plot we can see um, that's actually shadowing between you and your father? Um. Maybe it's actually more me and my mother that have that 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 typical relationship. On the other hand, uh, I mean, when you compare it to Beautiful Boy, on the other hand, I I um, I also I I lost my father 15 years ago already, and sort of what I make movies about father-son relationship is to keep his spirit alive or something. So nice. So since um, this is your first ever English-speaking film, yeah. and how do you feel the transition from a Belgian film to uh, making Belgian film to English make, uh, language film? I uh, it went seamless. I have to say, I, you know, I lo I believe in an organic process, and I one thing led to another. I had a film that was Oscar nominated in 2014, and it led to making this film. Um, and I, you know, had opportunity to work with incredible actors like Steve Carell and Timothy Chalamet. Uh, so, you know, I, I, I couldn't be more excited. Yeah, speaking of uh, both actors, so those two actors are very uh, versatile. So, how do you find them interesting? How, like, uh, their collaboration on on the camera? Like, what do you find is the most interesting thing between a longtime actor in Hollywood to a newer new, newcomer? It, it was. Amazing to see how they approach their um, their uh, preparation to this role very differently. Um, Timothy, you know, being very young and ambitious, uh, he brought a lot of ideas and things he wanted to try from very early on, uh, which was great. You know, as a director, you get all this input. On the other hand, Steve, you know who's so experienced and was confident that he would get there, just let it wash over him. So he really more eased into it. So very different types of getting into the role, but it made sense with their age, their, where they are in their career, and, and their roles actually. But it, you know, seeing that opposite each other was very interesting. I mean, there's, there's no wrong way. And, and I don't have a set way of work, working too. I, you know, I let my actors decide how they want to approach it. Being a director, I'm pretty sure that's such an important role, you know, for the film, uh, for the success of the film. So, um, with the intense uh, storyline, what's what was the hardest scene you have filmed? Yeah, maybe the very first scene we ever shot uh, for this movie was the hardest emotionally because it's um, a scene where um, it's one of the last scenes in the movie. Oh, maybe I shouldn't tell it. <laughs> uh, anyway, it's uh, <laughs> uh, a very, very intense scene. What we, and we started with that. It was the very first scene. The good thing was afterwards we were kind of relieved, and the rest of the shoot was, you know, was was easier. Very nice. Really, really wish you can win the Oscar. <laughs> thank yeah, thank you so thank much. You. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What you have, you're gonna find it again. You're gonna get it back. Do you know how much I love you? I love you more than everything. I love everything. Everything. Everything.